Hi, my name is Teresa and I'm a Youth Services Librarian with the New Orleans Public Library. I'm excited to share this virtual story time with you today. You can access all of our virtual programming from our website, nolalibrary.org. Before we begin today, I'd like to thank Simon and Schuster's Children's Publishing Division for giving me permission to read today's story. Today's story time theme will be elephants and we'll be sharing a felt board activity, songs, finger play, and a story. Let's get started. For our opening song, we're going to sing We Clap and Sing Hello. How many of you are familiar with this song? Wow, I see a lot of you are familiar with it. Singing helps develop phonological awareness. When you sing, it slows down language and helps children hear the smaller sounds and words. This will help children sound out words when they are learning to read. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Now, I'm gonna sing it again. This time, I'm inviting you all to join in with me, okay? On a count of three. One, two, three. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Yay! Good job! So before we begin our story for the day, I'd like to share with you some interesting facts about elephants. But first, I have a question for you all. Do you think elephants are the largest living land animal? Yep, you're correct, great job. Elephants are in fact the largest living land animal on earth. Elephants are plant-eating mammals with long trunks and large ears. They're native to Africa, in southern asia would you like to join me in spelling the word elephant awesome let's do it e l e p h a n t elephant so for today the book that i'm gonna read is titled Strictly No Elephants by author Lisa Manchev. The trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. No one else has an elephant. So as you can see, some kids, they do have pets such as dogs, fish, cats, and birds. Every day I take my elephant for a walk. His is a very thoughtful sort of walk. That is very thoughtful. He doesn't like the cracks in the sidewalk much. I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do lift each other over the cracks. Today I'm walking with my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day and everyone will be there. So as you can see, they have matching scarves. And what do we use scarves or why do we wear scarves? We wear it to keep our necks warm when we're outside in the cold. Come along, there's a good boy. I coaxed him the last few feet. It'll be fine. When I look up, there's a sign on the door. Strictly no elephants. My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk, never minding the cracks. That's what friends do. Brave the scary things for you. Wow, so it's rainy, it's dark and gloomy. And as you can see, the little boy and the elephant are walking and they're very, very sad. 
And also, we see a little girl on a bench with an animal in her lap. Did you try to go to the pet club meeting too? The girl asks. Yes, I say, but they don't allow elephants. The sign didn't mention skunks, the girl says, but they don't want us to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. What if we start our own club? Hmm, do you think these two will become friends? Let's see. Come along, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me because that's what friends do. Never leave anyone behind. Wow, look at all of these animals. So as you can see, all of these kids, they're with their pets. And we see a giraffe, an armadillo. Oh, look, even a bat, a narwhal and a fishbowl, a porcupine, a penguin, a skunk, and of course, an elephant. We can play here, one of our new friends says. All of us. So we can paint our own sign. All are welcome. My tiny elephant will give you directions if you need them. Because that's what friends do. The end. It's activity time. Let's have extra fun with a flannel board activity. This activity is called words that begin with the letter E. So can you think of some words that begin with the letter E? Well, yes, elephant. That's the word that starts with the letter E. Ah, okay. What about body parts of an elephant that starts with the letter E? You got it. I. And how do we spell I? E. Y. E. E. Y. E. I. What's another word? Oh, y'all are excellent. Ear. E. A. R. E. A. R. Ear. So today our finger play is titled one elephant went out to play. One elephant went out to play upon a beautiful bright sunny day. He had such enormous fun that he called for another elephant to come. Two, one, two. Two elephants went out to play upon a beautiful bright sunny day. He has such enormous fun that he called for another elephant to come. Three. One, two, three. Three elephants went out to play upon a beautiful bright sunny day. He has such enormous fun that he called for another elephant to come. Four. One, two, three, four. Four elephants went out to play upon a beautiful, bright, sunny day. He had such enormous fun that he called for another elephant to come. 
five. One, two, three, four, five. All the elephants were out to play upon a beautiful, bright, sunny day. They had such enormous fun, but there were no more elephants left to come. If you'd like to check out real life images of elephants, visit Britannica Library. This database is located on our website, nolalibrary.org. Britannica Library provides online encyclopedias designed for children, teens, and adults, consisting of articles, images, and maps, and a complete dictionary and atlas. I really enjoyed story time today, but before we end, let's sing the song, The More We Get Together. Are you ready? On a count of three. One, two, three. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! Thanks so much for joining us for virtual story time today.